hello, hello. Sorry, guys, I was a little, uh... Hold up. There we go. Sorry, I had to answer something important. I gotta let everyone know I'm online. I'm gonna probably go take a chug of my coffee real quick, and then I'm gonna be uh, all ready to game. I hope we're prepared to go back into the Dark Souls 2 uh, grind set. I'm kidding, no. We've been grinding a bunch of other games, so... Today, we're not gonna be grinding. We're gonna be just doing part of a playthrough, you know? Relaxing. I'm kidding. Honestly, my grinding games are kind of, like, relaxing. I find the process of grinding in those video games mildly relaxing. But yeah, let me grab me to swig some of my coffee. Hello, Izzy. Welcome in, man. How we doing? Hello, hello. Move that over. There we go. How art thou, Izzy? For thou art heareth on this is the dayeth. About to get. <laughs> oh boy, the legend of Quay Livid continues. All right, all right. Um, damn, I got a lot of these achievements. Apparently, only fifty-seven percent, but that's okay. This is the right character. Do I? Do I just? I don't remember coming here. Okay, cool. So I didn't do any of those. Or I did a little bit of that one. I do remember that. I didn't do any of that. I remember that. <laughs> okay, okay. This looks about right. I was really confused. Because I was like, I don't remember doing any of these things, if I'm honest here. I really don't. And so right now, I was like, okay. Okay, but no, we're good. We're good. We're good. We are all... We are all set. Alright, but from there. Um... Uh, I guess we're just gonna go back to Central Castle Drain Lake. I think we were gonna go fight the, uh... We beat the, tw uh, the twin dragon riders. So, you entered the DLC, I remember that. Okay, okay. Making sure I didn't accidentally do stuff, like, offline or something like that, you know? I got really worried that I accidentally did some stuff on my own time and fuck something up. Why is Benhart not here, by the way? Where the hell is Benhart? Um... God damn it. Benhart... Dark Souls 2. Benhart of Jugo. Yeah, where the fuck is this dude? Uh, Jola, memory of Oro. Yeah, he's not here. Why is he not here? Am I dumb? I feel like I'm being dumb right now. Shouldn't he be here? We're bit we're big sword bros. But he's not here. Where the fuck is he? Seriously though, where the fuck is bro? God damn it. Whatever. We're going to go ahead and start this up. It's been four minutes and we've not done anything yet, so let's get started. I want to get Ben Hart of Jugo, but I guess we just don't have him. Also, I think we get... No, we don't get Fire Tempest here. I think we get... I think we get um, a cast of uh, Firestorm if you don't have Firestorm from the Covenant. I actually think you get a cast of Firestorm in here. 
which is uh, pretty funny that you can technically get... Like, if you don't explore around, this is where you would get Firestorm. Of all places, here. You can't play it all until your new controller comes in, Izzy? You really did, too. No. I can't believe I just got attacked by a fucking ghost. <laughs> oh, boy. That's alright, that's alright. Oh, no! Run! Run away! So I do remember my character in this game is a lot heavier than what I'm used to, so... Body. There we go. I think I also need to get the spell Warmth as well, which I don't know if I have that one. I think I do, don't I? I do, I do. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, mimic. I think one, either one of these are a Mimic in this version of the game or in the original. Soul Greatsword and Kathis Chime. I actually don't remember what chime that is. I know this is the... I think the chime of screams inside of this game. Or maybe the maybe the chime of screams is in Dark Souls 3. It really has been that long. Holy shit. I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, there you go. The Kathis chime. I remember that one being pretty good for... Uh... It's my favorite cell sword! Yes! It's our boy. It's Louette! B button is stuck inside the controller. Oh, like the B button is absolutely unusable. Damn. How angry, how angrily are you smashing them buttons, Izzy? Holy shit. You're out here pushing the button so hard it won't it won't even fucking retreat from the uh controller. There we go, there's a Alright, alright. That's not good. Let me <laughs> That almost got me, but we're fine. Great fireball! Holy 560? That's not bad. Holy 1,000... 1,460 is kind of nuts. I'm not going to lie. Oh, we can proc if it hits it multiple times. See, that's actually not bad. It's kind of funny, you know? This area right here that I'm in reminds me of Castle Kanehurst. I don't know if you guys feel that way, but like this big open room like this, it, rem it reminds me of Castle Kanehurst when I'm in here. It just, it just looks like the place, you know? Just the big, broad, open stairways and everything. Also, funny enough, when I went to do my, uh, one of my furthest ever no death, no bonfire run, made it to this room that we're in right now and then I died isn't that just a shame that I actually made it all the way here but yeah no I made it all the way uh all the way here and then I believe I can't remember which one of these assholes killed me but one of these motherfuckers did kill me I just got stuck I'm stupidly careful with your controllers I mean as long as you're not the type of person to get Cheeto dust on your controller I can believe you god damn I forgot how much range they have hit them both no of course it didn't hit them both why would it hit them both But yeah, no, I, I I, think it was the one on the left. Basically, like, when I went in here, I can't remember what I was doing, per se, and I don't even know if it was on stream or not. But I made it all the way here. No, this isn't the Mimic. Okay, it must be that one. Yep, I see the Mimic. He's right over there. You can see him breathing from here. Actually, you guys probably can't, but I can literally see his teeth and, like, the color of inside his mouth. You're going down, Mimic. I want to fall for your tricks! Also, apparently it's not that surprising I died here. Apparently a lot of motherfuckers died here. God damn. The flood of blood stains in this area is kind of absurd. God damn it. Well, you know, that's kind of my fault for expecting that to work in any fucking capacity. That's okay. Let me use my weapon. 
I've not really used my weapon. I've mostly been using my spells, but can you blame me? The spells are so cool. There we go. Um, washing pole. You know, genuine, um, if I'm eating while playing a game, I make sure to clean off my hands with a uh, towel before grabbing it again. Yeah, dude, I don't know how people play games with, dir with dirty hands. I honestly can't. Oh, hold up. They said I need... Um... Hold up. There we go. Somebody sent me something, and I'm so confused by what the fuck they mean. You ever have someone at say something, like they're talking about something, and you have not a fucking clue what they're talking about? I, I, I get that sometimes. I get that sometimes. Oh, fuck, it's raining. They're going to take less fire damage. Well, that's a damn shame. <laughs> Do I even bother fighting them then? If it's in the rain, should I just literally ignore them? You're insane. You're actually hilarious for that. You're so real for just blowing me up as soon as I walk in the room. Like, I'll start to get worried that, you know... There's a ghost down there? Oh, there's a ghost down there. Um, okay. Holy shit! I one-shot him? That's actually pretty dope. Oh, get rolled! Get rolled! Let's fucking go. Also, my audio sounds a little on the crispy side. I'm probably gonna redo the audio here in a moment. I don't know why the audio sounds a little crispy. You ever heard your audio and it kind of sounds like it's cooking bacon? That's kind of what I'm getting a little bit. Let me, uh... Here, let me... There we go, cool. I don't know if we'll stay that way or not. Also, what is the audio at? I need to make sure I have the audio loud enough. Oh no, it's fine, 44. That's good, that's good. You know, Chad, I'm actually almost done watching my uh, Fire Emblem, uh, Fire Emblem, my Fire Emblem Phantom Hourglass playthrough. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what it is. My Fire Emblem Phantom Hourglass. No, no, I'm almost done watching my Phantom Hourglass playthrough. I was watching some of it today. But I was actually so fucking tired, I uh, could not focus on the videos, so I did not really watch much of my videos today. I more or less was just uh, not really doing much of anything as far as like uh, watching videos. I was mostly, you're an ass. You really did do that too. Okay. You know, I don't care if it's in the rain or not. I will literally in. Oh. Huh. All right. <laughs> okay. Okay. Bet. Bet. But yeah, I'm gonna fix the audio. I hear still. I still hear it being a little crispy. Let me fix that. Okay. There we go. We can hear the game again. All right. Oh, Izzy, is it weird seeing the later parts of the game like this? Actually, have you watched a full playthrough of Dark Souls 2 before, Izzy? I'm pretty sure you have, haven't you? I'm I'm pretty sure you have. You've at least watched mine, I think. Honestly, Dark Souls 2 is a long-ass playthrough. Like, a really long playthrough. Hold up, I gotta answer this uh, person real quick. Okay, there we go. Yeah, you've watched your backlogs, playthroughs, and yours. I, speaking of backlogs, I was actually watching a uh, backlog stream today. Because you know how I said I was going to use uh, Immolation a little bit during this playthrough? It was actually entertaining because the playthrough I was watching, he was actually doing Immolation. 
I think the Immolation only playthrough of Dark Souls 2. And I've got to say, the amount of damage Immolation did not do in this game was absolutely fucking absurd. I So, like, I knew that Immolation wasn't really going to do that much damage. I, I kind of knew that from the start. But to see that the damage of Immolation is that bad was kind of unbelievable. And you know what? I'm kind of glad that I decided that I wasn't really going to use it. Because I really, I did want to use Immolation. I thought it would be fucking, you know, like, badass and interesting to use Immolation. But it sucks that Immolation is so bad in this game that it's it is just unusable. I don't know, have, has anybody in chat ever used Immolation in any of the Souls games, Elden Ring included? Like, I've used... I feel like it's like the armor of thorns, you know? Like, it's just really not worth your time. Um, hold up. I had a very important conversation with a, uh, a very important, important person before I uh, got on stream. Um, so I want to make sure that, uh, that they understood what I was saying. As you guys know, priorities outside of stream, of course. I've got priorities on stream, but obviously I got a few priorities off of stream as well. Um, uh, but I usually do try to prior uh, prioritize streaming quite a bit, just because I have so much fun with it, you know? Um... Which, you know what? You know what's a shame? I need to, I need to do more Halo content. Because it, I has been, it has been so long since I've gotten hate comments on my YouTube videos or my YouTube shorts. Like, I kind of miss it, you know? Like, I need, I need to log back on that bitch and play some fucking Halo. Because I'm not getting any hate comments anymore and I, I feel like I'm, I'm just not as popular now. If no one's hating on me, how do I know I'm not doing a good job? I need some fresh haters. Whatever, fuck you. Don't care. Why did the other one take a lot of damage, but you took like three damage? Did you, where did you, okay. I, you know what? I'm tired enough, I probably just didn't see something. I'm gonna be completely real with you. I'm sure you guys can tell how scatterbrained I am with how like tired I am and how like distracted I am as well, but that's okay. I wanted to stream today, and I decided I was going to do a little bit of Dark Souls 2. Izzy requested it, and I'd, I like to listen to my requests if I can. You know, if I can. I know Dark Licker is pretty much every high school emo kid's OC to make them forget about their dad beating them. I mean, damn. I mean, Dark Lurker's alright. Um, I don't mind Dark Lurker. I think Dark Lurker's alright. All God damn it. They are so acrobatic. Well, as I'm going through here, as you can tell, guess what stat I've still not upgraded. I mean, granted, fighting these guys, they def you definitely want to have more ADP fighting these guys of all characters. Because they definitely have like a lot of the multi-hit combos. And the multi-hit combos are definitely going to be a lot more um, what is it, difficult to dodge with uh, lower ADP. But it's still very doable. I think what really is fucking with me, though, is I played Bloodborne for so fucking long that playing something that isn't Bloodborne is kind of fucking with me right now. Like, I spent that long-ass time getting the plat for Bloodborne. Holy shit, dude. It took so goddamn long. Not to say I hated it. I I, I enjoyed my time. Is this Ben Hart? Ben Hart! Of Jugo. Who is this? That's Ashen Knight Boyd. Ah, uh, well, Boyd isn't really... Well, Ashen, that kind of... Sounds like fire, doesn't it? <laughs> Would Ashen Knight Boyd count as a fire? I don't know. Also, what makes me mad? Is I really always thought this was, like, some significance of some kind. But it's not, right? Like, it's just some random, fancy decor for no reason. Like, why are you going to have fancy-ass decor for no reason? Why you gotta why do you gotta blue ball me with some secrets like that? 
I want secrets, and you're like, ah, ha, ha, ha. Nope. It <laughs> just, like, why are, why are you like this, right? Why are you like this? I want, I want secrets, and you're not giving them to me. I should look up their cut content bosses. I mean, this may sound kind of like cringe, but like, I don't know. I don't really, I don't, I'll probably, I'll try to look it up. I'll look it up. I just, I personally don't, what is on my face? Like a hair is on my face or my mouth or something. Whatever. I didn't straighten my hair today, so I'm I'm probably getting hair in my mouth or hair in my nose or hair in my fucking something. I don't know. Oh boy. God damn it. Holy fire whip supremacy, dude! That just melted him! Holy shit! Are they stone warriors or paper warriors? Why did I do so much fire damage to that one specifically? But yeah, I remember you guys telling me about the chalices inside of Bloodborne where you can actually fight the, uh, the bosses and everything, but... I don't know, man. Not really, uh... I can't really say it intrigued me all that much, if I'm honest. Like, it did a little bit, but not all that much. All right. The brotherly bond of Binhart of Jugo. The one who's so prideful that he can't even understand he doesn't have an actual special sword. <laughs> with, the <laughs> with the equally as prideful. Quay Livid. The demon who's absolutely getting stepped on. Hello? Why did I just get stepped on at the beginning of the fight? I don't understand. Ben Hart, you need to kick his ass, please. There we go. Once again. I really like how the looking glass knight is so unconcerned with Ben Hart. Also, he did really not do that much damage. I was waiting for him to do a jump attack and kill me. I missed. Nice. I need, do I need to dodge to his left. I keep dodging towards his shield. That's my problem. No, Ben Hart! Get him, Ben Hart! You did not just hit me with the backswing. <laughs> Chaos Storm! I could just go Chaos Control and go full, uh, you know, Shout of the Hedgehog on him. I've thought of it. You know, Ben Hart, I'm just glad you didn't get me hit. That's all I care about. You didn't get me smacked in the back of the head. And, you know, I appreciate that. Also, this bro really thinks he's doing something. He's not. You're already dead. Why is it also the fact that everyone's using a big sword? Okay. Not cool, by the way. You get back here! Why does he run like that? Who runs like that? Bro ran with absolutely zero mobility on his upper body. Also, Ben Hart, you need to stop dying. I think Ben Hart might be dead. Ben Hart, no! You'll be a Ben! Look at that. Look at that 780p dodging through that AoE. Once again, it's, it's super possible. I don't know. I kind of feel like a piece of shit being a defender of ADP. Like, I kind of feel like literally playing devil's advocate. But honestly, the more I play this and the more, like, I'm, act like, dealing with it, 
it's genuinely not even an issue. He's pulling his cock out. Dude, he's already got his grippers out. I don't I don't feel like dealing with his cock and his grippers. That sounds horrifying. I'd rather not. I'd rather not. But yeah, no. Playing with a slow ADP, it has been pretty whatever. God damn. Holy shit, the fire damage is just not. That's crazy. He literally just ignored it. Yeah, I didn't dodge. Big, definitely my bad on that one. Definitely my bad on that one as well. I keep targeting people. I'm not playing Bloodborne. Fuck. I keep targeting like I'm playing Bloodborne. I'm not playing Bloodborne. I'm playing Dark Souls 2. Holy shit. Look at that. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. I was going to go ahead and just take the greedy hit and go for it. Okay, dude. Chill out. I'm not looking glass night. I am not playing with you. Don't you do it. Cool. A double chug. They are so persistent. There we go. Got him. All right. Now it's me and you. That was weird. I cannot remember the last time I saw that combo. What the fuck? <laughs> I don't think he's been alive long enough um, in a long time for me to see that combo. That was pretty cool. It's always nice when you get to see a rare combo from a boss fight, right? I got you, bitch! Really? Fuck off. You're actually kidding. Ah, fire whip. Easy. We did it! Joke's on you, it isn't even a sword. I mean, to be honest, the weapon I have right now barely would count as a sword. You're right. It's just, it's just a sword-shaped mace. You're absolutely correct, Izzy. It's barely a sword. Barely. All right. Out of the rain! Oh, fuck. We're about to go down here, and we're going to be in an area full of water. So every single goddamn enemy is going to be resistant to fire. Just a slab of molten rock. I mean, that's literally what it is. It's not even steel. It's just it's just a big... Th I just picked up a rock, stuck it in lava, and just decided to carry it around. Seemed like a pretty good idea at the time. 40 strength is pretty crazy. So how much uh, how much am I getting off of my here, 250? Damn. Not bad, not bad. Honestly, you know it's pretty cool. Or actually pretty nice. Um, they actually have a lot of staffs in, in this game and chimes for like different things. One thing I think is pretty funny was they have one staff in this game that's super OP. Because it gets a bonus for when you're a human. Like, if, you're, if you are a human while using it, you get a bonus. And I think it's actually a rather large bonus. I gotta remember, it's it's the staff that the, la that the ladies in the Shrine of Amana use. Let me see here. Dark, Dark Souls 2 staves. Yeah, it's literally one of the sa staffs. It's called the uh, Staff of Amana. There we go. And it has a really high scaling. Yep. Bonus AR is influenced by hollowing level. The higher the hollowing, the lower the bonus AR. Upgrade through normal Titanite. The formulas to find the bonus AR of the staff of Amana are normal infusion. God, it's a lot of shit. 
a lot of nonsense going on, but yeah, no, it's genuinely, like, if you're using just normal sorceries, it becomes pretty overpowered, I'm not going to lie. Me either way. Yeah. Honestly, I'm half debating going full hollow and letting my, uh, what is it? And using the Dark Pyromancy Flame. I've actually never used the Dark Pyromancy Flame. And I'm kind of curious if you guys think it would be worthwhile or not. Like, the only issue being I, I have to get more Fire Seeds to upgrade it. Is the main issue. So I think it does give you a pretty big bonus. I, I don't actually know the difference between the Dark Pyromancy Flame and the normal one. I'll probably upgrade the Dark one to see if, it's, uh, if it becomes more, you know? Why not, right? Why not? Um, ooh, see, this is a hard call. So am I wearing the right armor that I want to wear? I think I am. Aren't I? Pretty sure I am. I don't think I was wanting to wear any other, any different armor than what I'm wearing right now. Pretty sure what I'm wearing right this second is exactly what I wanted. Yeah, because that's already plus five. So that is, that's correct. That's correct. That's correct. And that's correct. Okay, cool. So I am... I am actively using all of what I wanted, so my weight is fine. I don't really need to upgrade vi my vitality anymore. I don't need to upgrade my strength anymore. I could upgrade my endurance. My endurance is at level 12, so that could definitely go up. And I think that increases my physical defense and my poise quite a bit, so I might upgrade that. But I also want to upgrade my health. My health really isn't that high either. I mean, 20 is good, though. See, the thing about this game is you really don't get that much. It's like, that's only 20. That's 20 health per level up. That's that's really not going to give you that much of a, uh, a return, you know? Um... Let's see, let's see. Yeah, I said I wasn't going to upgrade any ADP. I guess I would just upgrade uh, Intellect and Faith then, shouldn't I? I don't know. I'll have to see. I feel like that wouldn't be a bad idea. Just upgrade some Intellect and Faith and everything and just kind of go with that. Because Dexterity really isn't going to help me, and that's only going to... See, yeah, once I upgrade Strength, it's really not upgrading my weapon at all. Not by much. Um, this... Seven? You're crazy, bro. That is seven damage. Seven damage off one level up. That's act. Yeah, I'm definitely upgrading at least once because that's ridiculous. It's fucking insanity. Mm. I might upgrade attunement. Attunement doesn't seem like a bad idea. Also, my attunement is finally high enough. I actually have 90 agility, which, as I've stated before, if you want to be able to dodge stuff. Bare minimum, 90 agility will, will take you pretty much the whole game. Like, you really don't need more than 90. Even if you have less than 90, you can make do. But, like, just genuinely, you're pretty much set. Like, it's not even really an issue at all. Yeah, I think I'm going to do endurance. Just because, like, I'm, I'm, I really can't swing my weapon that many times. Granted, it is because my weapon's massive. Like, let's see here. One, two... Three. There we go. So yeah, now I can I can swing it three times and roll away if need be now. But I'm gonna do my best to not overswing and get myself offed, you know? So I do not need to level up. I need to just go and upgrade an Estus Flask. Alright, I think I also have Sublime Bone Dust to burn as well. Um actually Izzy, because you were talking about the uh what was it? The DLC to Elden Ring. What all have you done inside the Elden Ring DLC so far? It's been a while since I've had just me and you in here, so I was... I want to chat with my bro. Mm. Don't waste my time. Wait, what? My smelter sword isn't even upgraded all the way. What the fuck? Really? I thought it was. Uh, yeah, I really thought it was. Guess it's not. Alright. Well, let's upgrade that bitch then. That's gonna get a lot of damage. I'm doing way less damage than what I really would be. 
nice, nice. 350. Damn. I guess this weapon is actually underperforming. Yeah, now it's doing 600 damage. God damn. Okay, so that's 600 damage. I could go to Shrine of Amana. I don't really want to, though. Um, I don't really have anything in there that I particularly want at the moment. So I might actually go to the Old Ivory King DLC. And old Ivory King DLC. The Old Iron King DLC. And kind of run around in there for a bit, you know? Like, yeah, they're fire resistant and everything, but, like, fuck it. Who gives a shit, you know? You know, fuck you and your mama. Last thing I remember doing is going through a building with a dead giant hanging from the ceiling. Fuck, I don't even know where that is. That's the last... <clears throat> Hold up. Okay. Alright, fuck the bonfire. Fuck you, fuck the bonfire, and fuck your your mom and the bonfire's mom. Fuck everybody, bro. Absolutely. Did I spill tea on my mic? No, it just looks like I did. Weird. Weird. Whatever, not too concerned about it. But yeah, honestly, Izzy, I have no idea what you're talking about. I have absolutely not a fucking clue what you're talking about right now. I'm so confused. Because, like, I think I know, but then, like, I also really fucking don't, you know? You know? You get three of those things, so that's not bad. Well, I can't really go that way. It's going to hollow me out a little bit. That sounds wild. Pause? I think? Maybe, pause, maybe. Maybe? I don't know, chat. Is it, is it sus to say it hollows me out? I think that sounds a little... That sounds a little... Like, I don't know. I don't even know if that is what that would mean, per se. It just it just sounds like it could mean something. So I'm just, I'm just going to say pause. Possible pause. Possible pause. Last thing I remember doing... Um, is going through a building with a ow, ow, hello. Why are we hurting me? Last thing I remember doing is going through a building with a dead giant hanging from the ceiling and finding a second dancing lion with those stupid frog things that are in every fucking souls like. Oh, basilisks? Why do you call them frog things? Just say basilisks. They don't even look like frogs. This bitch kicked me into the fire. That was almost the perfect assassination. Fuck you. Gotcha. You never stood a chance. You know, fuck you, I'm backstabbing you. we go. Oh, a direct hit. I'm playing sloppy as fuck right now. That's how much I hate them. Why do you hate basilisks? I think basilisks, basilisks are adorable, personally. What makes you hate them so much, Izzy? They're just so cute. Please don't make me go over there. It's gonna make me go over there. God damn it! Fuck! I don't want to deal with this shit. Oh well. You just do? I mean, I guess. Like, do they actually land petrification on you a lot or something? Because, like, I know whenever I fight them, they, they don't really ever land petrification or anything on me. They're just kind of cute and harmless most of the time. You know what? I don't care. I'm tanking this shit. I will take all of that damage straight to the face. No pause included. Well, yes, Izzy, but Death, Blight, and Elden Ring is actually way less offensive than Curse from Dark Souls 1. That's what I mean. Like, Death, Bla Death Blight really... I don't know. I'm not really scared of Death Blight. Death Blight's just kind of whatever, you know? 
I'm way more concerned about curse inside of Dark Souls 1. You know the big eyes on their heads aren't eyes, right? Yeah, I know. But they're so cute! I'm sure there was going to be some way I accidentally lit myself on fire. I was totally read for, ready for it. And just pet. That bitch said eight. That said eight. That said eight. Get out my way. Out of the way. Out of the way. Yeah, that shit said eight petrified dragon bone. Oh my fucking god. I, that is so much. I actually forgot that you even got that in the DLC. Like, I just remembered it when I walked this way. Katarina. I think that's the onion armor, is it not? Yeah, the Knights of Katarina. Um, but yeah, you were all the way at that. Wow, really? You got, you got pretty far, honestly, Izzy. How many, uh, big bo- What? How many, like, main bosses have you fought? Or have you not fought very many? Because, like, going off what you just told me, you, it sounds like you fought several of the main bosses. Where the hell is he going? You're so dumb. I'm so glad that did not explode, if I'm honest. Okay. You know what, bitch? Let's go for it. Your molten metal versus my molten metal. Oh, that's gonna hurt. You're never catching me alive! <laughs> I really have played too much Bloodborne. I'm playing, like, straight ass, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay, that's okay. We're still gaming. I can totally do this just fine. It'll be a lot more sloppy, but it will still be possible. The thing is, they uh, come in on the da Dancing Lions Phase 2. Um, about four of them spamming Death Blight, while the boss self also spews Death Blight and is pretty damn aggressive. Oh, well, yeah, 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 Izzy. I'm not talking about that specific boss fight. I do think that that boss fight, they're definitely pretty annoying. But you were, you were saying that you hate them in general. I was assuming you hated them just in general. Yeah, just hating them in the boss fight I would get. But, like, uh, just I was I, assume, I was assuming you meant, like, Dark Souls 1, Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls 3, um, Elden Ring. Anytime you saw them, regardless of when, where, or how many, you hate them. That's that's what I was getting at. That's what, that's what I thought you meant. I could have uh, misinterpreted your words. Definitely possible. I'm definitely in the mind state to misunderstand. Let's go upgrade the sword, though. You fought Guts, the, fir the first uh, zombie dragon. Welcome in, Bruce Lee fan! The first dancing lion, Rolana. A black knight with twin blades and a hippo. Yeah, Izzy, I will say if you're having trouble in the part of the DLC you're at, there's a lot of DLC that you've accidentally walked by. I don't know how you explored and ended up there of all places that quickly, but you, you ended up in, you ended up in like the area I did last. That's crazy. You literally got to the place I did last. Okay, well, let's see how much damage we can actually get out of this thing. So it was like 589. What's this thing maxed out? It probably jumped up a lot. 589 to 
656. God damn. This thing really is just hitting different. It's hitting beefy. Dare I say spicy. I need to be able to get another weapon, though. Right now, I like this weapon. I guess I would upgrade the mace, but haven't I already upgraded the mace? Pretty sure I did. No, I didn't fully upgrade it yet. Honestly, might upgrade the mace more, because that mace is amazing! As I'm known to say. Um... Not leave. What am I doing? What game am I mixing this up with right now? I'm mixing up leave with use. Probably Bloodborne. I'm, I'm mixing everything up with Bloodborne right now on accident. There we go. How much damage does my mace do, I wonder? I've had the mace for quite some time. 656 and 392. That's honestly, that's not bad for it being so small. And it's all single type damage. Also the um, the old Iron King hammer. Honestly, I might try that out too. That sounds pretty fun. We'll see. We'll see. I can't remember exactly what the moveset for the old Iron, Iron King's hammer is though. Let's see what it is. Show me your swing pattern. Okay, so it's like a swing, and then I swing with it. All right, all right. That is what I remember. Cool, cool. What is the running attack? Not bad. This is just really awkward looking. Okay, it's one. It's one of those. Bet. Okay. One of those weapons. The, it's the smashy smash weapons. I remember you. Um, I can't remember if there's any bosses or anything that use any like fire weapons in the rest of the DLCs. I don't think so. The only one I can think of is um. Actually, I can go check. Let me go check. I don't think there's any boss weapons or anything I'd like to use. Let me see. Pretty sure there's not. I'm pretty sure I've already looked at all the weapons I would want to use, if I were to use any. I'm having one of the hardest depression munches I've ever had. Five Sprite Cranberries and three Mountain Dew Baja Blasts. Is Baja Blast fire, though? I've never... I don't think I've ever had Baja Blast. Is Baja Blast blowing your mind, Bruce Lee fan? And where are you at in this game, uh, Bruce Lee fan? Get out of here. No! Spiders! You're dead. Or should I say cooked? Get it. I hate dealing with them with the ones in that fighter. I hate specifically. Oh, and the red bear. Yeah, the red bear boss kind of comes out of nowhere. Pretty fun boss, though. I wasn't expecting it, but I enjoyed it. It was so unexpected that I just thought it was hilarious. I beat Nassandra, or whatever her name is. Oh, so you pretty much beat the game, then, Bruce Lee fan. You want to explore previous areas after you get your new controller? Baja Blast are amazing. You should try one. Sure, I'll, maybe I'll pick one up from the uh, convenience store or something tomorrow. Let's see what the hype's about. Okay, yeah, the Thorn Greatsword. The Butcher's Knife. Do I have the Soul of the Rotten? Is this even good? HP Absorb? That sounds nice. An oddly large Butcher's Knife. Not your standard weapon, but certainly deadly enough to be utilized as one. Is it good, though? How good is the Butcher's Knife in this game, I wonder? Let me see here. Dark Souls 2. I don't think I've ever used that weapon. Uh, you don't drink Mountain Dew unless you go to Taco Bell. That's usually when I get Mountain Dew as well. I only get Mountain Dew when I pretty much go to Taco Bell. That's the only time I get it. Uh, 
Eight percent of the damage. Uh, eight percent of the damage dealt. Okay. So what? Like eight percent of. Uh, let's like highball it. Let's say like three fifty. Times point. Twenty-eight health. Eh, that's not really that great. Don't really care about that. I'm not super concerned about all that nonsense. If I'm being real with you, chat. It's honestly, whatever. Um, now let's see if I can. Do I have any homeward bones? Actually, what am I doing? The bonfire is right here. Am I that brain dead? I can't just walk over here to the bonfire. I was actually about to use a homeward bone too. I am that fucking stupid. I am. I am literally that dumb. I was about to do that. Um, how many tries for the bear, Edgy? I actually do not remember how many tries for the bear. I think he kicked my... I might have first tried him, but I remember him, like, slapping me around a little bit. I was probably too busy laughing that I started playing like ass. That's more than likely what happened. I was probably laughing the whole time, played like ass because of it, and, uh, yeah. More than likely that's what happened. Oh, goodness. Feeble cursed one. Okay, bro. Calm it down. Calm it down. I'm not feeble. I am strong. Hype is well deserved. I'm on your fourth bl Baja Blast right now. Damn, okay. Baja Blast is a Taco Bell original Mountain Dew. Is it? Not as good as their singing was, but off of that Baja Blast is the most goaded Mountain Dew ever. Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. Well, yeah, I'll have to try some then. I think that'd be fun. Also, I just took some fall dablage. All right. Oh, boy. We're about to start a fire, and I am not prepared. At all. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to... Oh, I don't know if I want to do this this way. Let me switch this up. Let me... See, yeah, look, look, look at them fire effects, chat. These guys are also kind of like notoriously hard to dodge. They also self-destruct. And whenever they're on fire, they pretty much always self-destruct and they freak out. So. Yep, goodbye. Why does their immolation actually work? Like, my emulation is just barely good enough, but theirs is working perfectly as intended. It's not fair! It should have been me! You know what? I felt like I would have died right there, but we're good. We're good. Like I said, the 780p is carrying me. I won't need to upgrade that bitch for the rest of the game, I'm telling you. No explosions? Come on. Nice. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Why did you even explode? You were nowhere near me. You know what? Sure. I just think they're I think they're just sick of it at this point. They don't even they're not even concerned about taking me out. They're just trying to explode because they want to explode. There's not really any deep thought process to it. They're just kind of going for it, you know? You know what? If that's their dream, their dream is to blow up and then act like they don't know nobody. No, don't know nobody. All right, that's the goal. That's the dream. You little bitch. Gotcha. Are you fucking kidding me? No, fuck you. Buff this. I think it's not spicy enough in here. Exactly. That, you're so dead, by the way. Catch me. You can't do it. Oh, the roll! And the hyper armor! Yeah, I'm sorry, Rachel. You never stood a chance. 
All my homies hate Rachel. She was a bitch anyways. Oh, hello. Ro I'm sorry. This was room service, and this indeed was the wrong room. Okay, you know what? It was the wrong room. Now it's the right room. Fuck you. Okay, who's the winner who just met? Who, who's who's stream sniping, but instead of invading me, who's raiding my message when I need it? Because you're actually a real one. Thank you. Whoever the fuck that was. You're actually the best, secretly. You just don't... You just don't understand how amazing you are. Hello? Anybody in here? Ow. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to disturb. <laughs> my bad, my bad. One of these has loot in it. I just... This one. Oh, look at you. You dumb, you dumb hoe. Thank you. See, I may be the dumb brain dead strength pyro build, but I'm smart enough to close the door, all right? Where I'm improving, chat, I'm improving. I know how to close the door and you know what? I'm just putting one foot in front of the other. Get ready for the Christmas music. Also, crazy. Why the fuck was the radio playing? Why was my radio in my car unironically playing Frozen music today? Not like, you know, Disney radio. No, no. It was like playing classical music and then followed it with, Do you want to build a snowman? And I was like, what the fuck? I thought I was listening to Beethoven or something. And then I heard that. And then I heard Elsa. And I was like, okay, that now there's no mistaking it. What the fuck is going on around here? I, like, is there a station, is there a radio station that plays Disney music that I just, I'm unaware of? Oh boy, party people! Hello, let's get this fire party started right! I know, I'm spreading the love, and now I'm gonna die for it. Oh god. <laughs> I love this. Literally all of them are on fire. You'll ne yeah, I'm sorry dude, you're not making it to me. They're so, they're so unbelievably fire resistant, though. I mean, I get it. Actually, would someone who's already on fire be resistant to fire damage? If they're already, like, you know, non-resistant enough to get to become on fire, would they be resistant enough to take less fire? If you were to light yourself on fire, would you take less fire damage while you're on fire? That's an honest question. I feel like these are the real questions we need to be asking ourselves. You're no match! Alright. I'm trying to have fun burning the world down right now. See, when I do my next themed playthrough, it's not going to be as fun because I can't light everything on fire. I'm going to have to be boring and just beat them, you know? Which is not nearly as fun. It's way far, way funner to just burn everything to the ground. Okay. God, that fucking dude! It's been so long. His fucking jawline. Holy shit! I forgot how much of a Chad. Though. I forgot how much of my character is a Chad. He might be distantly related to Chad Thundercock. He might be. He might be. I haven't, I haven't checked the lore. Maybe I get a DNA test. See if my Dark Souls characters are related somehow. If anybody's related to Chad Thundercock, then they are a real legend. Because that man is a legend, after all. Best palad paladin I have ever seen. I've never seen a paladin so powerful. I have never seen someone so powerful outside of him. He's He is kind of the goat, after all.
cool. I, have to, I keep having to remember, like, where do I go in this game. Um, I probably won't play this game for very long either, chat. Because with me being so tired, uh, my commentary is going to be kind of shoddy at best. So I might switch over to Monster Hunter for a bit. I'll probably play this game for about an hour and a half and then switch over to Monster Hunter. Simply because I don't want to, um, with me being so tired, I don't want to just give out shitty commentary while I'm so tired, you know? I try to keep my commentary decent enough. Especially on my safe playthroughs, I try not to be so spaced out the whole time. Because I am hella spaced out right now. I'm barely even here, if I'm honest. You're not talking to the based gamer, you're talking to the spaced gamer, bro. I'm on a whole other planet right now. Let me in! Oh, Izzy, by the way, you're about to be excited. You're about to see the best helmet in the game. Uh, but I hope everyone's ready. So, chat, if you've never played Dark Souls 2, if you come right into this room here, you can get the most beautiful and most perfect for um, fashion web armor set piece in the game. Um, and I present to you the hollow skin. I know. You never thought you'd see something so impressive, so awe-inspiring. But here it is. Here it is. The best part, it gives me like one bajillion curse resistance. Yeah, this shit, it gives you 1,000 curse resistance. They made Devin's face a helmet? I know. I wasn't thinking they would either. But they then they went and did it! Fuck. Remember what this one, there we go. Remember what fucking helmet I had on. But no, the best part about that is they have the curse effect in this game. That helmet actually makes you completely immune to any and all curse effects. You know what? I'm just... Devin Cameo, let's go. Devin Cameo! Hell yeah! Oh, okay. Why the fuck are you still alive? Why are the sound effects so wonky? Okay. Dude, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but, like, that's the point. You can't. I don't know what that was. The audio just kind of stopped. Devin's face was so ugly, it killed my audio. Like Patrick said, he was so ugly, everybody died. The end. And you know what? Okay, there is a guy in there, good. Come on, go that way. Head to your destination, fool! Come on, thank you. Get your loincloth wearing ass over here. Thank you, thank you. Dispelling ring. I actually don't remember how good that is. Is that even good or not? Dispelling. The fuck is the dispelling ring? I actually have no idea. What the fuck is the dispelling ring? Oh, that ring! I remember now, it just gives you a shit ton of magic defense. Which, I mean, honestly, 120 for all mag all different types of magic defense. I can appreciate that. The only problem with having, like, huge, um, like, having all magic resistance like that is you kind of run into the issue of, like, you're not... You're not taking damage from enough different things for it to matter. I can't remember who I was watching, who was, like, talking about that. It might have been Rusty. You guys might know who I'm talking about. Rusty, who does, uh, like, Elden Ring tier lists. But basically, one thing he likes to talk about is, like, a lot of people talk about, like, multi-function spells and everything. But the big issue being is, like, you, you're not really going to be taking multiple different types of damage 
from enemies and stuff, you know? You're pretty much ne you're pretty much never gonna take more than one elemental type of damage from an enemy. And even then, there's a lot and I'm oh, sorry, and to add to that, is there's a lot of times you're never gonna take more than one type of damage when you're in an area as well. Like, usually when you're in an area, you're only going to take the one type of damage the whole time you're in the area, because it's like a fire area. You know, a magic area. A uh, lightning area. Stuff like that. Like, you might have some crossover, but there's almost no crossover at all. But like, the damage types that you're going to be taking. So there's basically no instance where you're ever going to want to wear a, uh, like, mass magic buffing uh, ring, you know? And I mean, I guess you could do it for PvP, but like, would you got, would you got, have you guys ever worn like a bunch of defensive rings for like PvP or no? I got seven of these, huh? Well, I'll go ahead and grab this then. It's locked. Amazing. Why is it locked? Fuck, I don't even know where to get the key. I don't even know where to get the key. All right, well. I guess I'll find it eventually! <laughs> We're having to re-remember re everything with Edgy Gamer here, and God, he does not remember. What is, what is, where is this way? Where and what is this direction? All the three hits! What are you doing? Are you going back into the fire? Who hurt you? Who hurt you other than apparently your own stupidity? What the fuck was that? What am I... <laughs> what the fuck am I watching? Chat, they're just so dumb. They're so fucking dumb. You just don't understand. Their stupidity is unbelievable. I nearly died. Ow! Ow! Alright. What's behind? Oh my god, I think we might be going outside. Just maybe. That's where you get the simpleton's ring. So funny enough, chat, there actually is a ring that increases your ADP. Um, I think this increases your ADP by 3. If I remember correctly. So like, even if your ADP is low, you can wear a ring to increase it. No, it actually increased your ADP by 5. Holy shit. Increased my agility by 4, even. Not bad. That's actually quite the jump, to be honest with you. Increasing your ADP by 5 will do quite a bit. It won't do the most out of any ring in the world, but it's not bad. Like I said, it's pretty useful. It's just a ring that kind of helps you dodge a little bit better if you want to wear it. I have no idea where this goes. Well, I can go to that, but how's that going to help me? Wait, what the fuck? Oh, shit, there was something down there. Hold up, hold up. Wait a minute. Not here, but here. I thought I died. This this is the Simpleton Spawn Tune. See, this is a weapon I need to use at some point. Or the Pilgrim Spawn Tune, my bad. Simpleton Spawn Tune. I'm calling everyone a dipshit for using it, I guess. But I think it's a what? It's a spear that can cast hexes. I think. I've never used it even once. No, it takes thirty intellect and thirty faith. Oh my god! Yeah, it is a hexer weapon. That's insane. And it only does magic and dark damage. I feel like this actually would do a lot of damage now that I look at it. Is this thing, like, based as fuck? Hold up. I'm checking this shit out right now. Um, let's see here. Pilgrim Spawn Tune. Why do I keep thinking it's Simpleton Spawn Tune? I would ask if you've ever used it, Izzy, but... 
I don't, yeah, you said you've never even gone that far. Welcome in, Golden Swordsman. How you doing, man? Yeah, chat, honestly. I think I might, uh, what was it? I think I might go with that during my dark playthrough. The only problem is I'd have to, you know, get to this part of the DLC. I'm tired, long game. I'm going to relax with a nice, calm game of Jedi Survivor Grandmaster. <gasps> Grandmaster. <gasps> Got you, bitch. I do too much damage. You'll never outheal me. That's gonna hit me with the with the run back. No. I actually made this bastard flinch too. Shit, shit, shit. Oh, I thought that would hit me. No, he got me. I knew it. I knew it. I fucking knew he was going for the third attack. Yet, I'm so tired, I didn't react to it. I had already committed. Oh, my God. My brain is working, but my body can't keep up. You know, it's kind of funny, Golden Swordsman. I was actually talking about Jedi Survivor today. Um, not on stream, but like uh, outside of stream, I was talking about that. And uh, wasn't wasn't um the fall the fa Jedi Fallen Order supposed to be a trilogy? Aren't they going to be coming out with a third game eventually? Or am I misremembering? I could be misremembering. I very well could be. Hopefully not, but I could be. I'll probably continue on working on my NPC night, which is a, a one-shot adventure where the NPCs and the videos I make all sit down in the alternate reality room that makes them aware of pop culture and play d and I'll continue it later. Yeah, the third game will be out 2027. Okay, good. So it has plenty of development time, though. They'll be working on it for quite some time. Well, good. I'd rather it be uh, well thought out and well made rather than just kind of rushed out, you know? Plus, I'd like it to be as, uh, as at least as good as Jedi Survivor, you know? I mean, I liked um, Jedi Fallen Order, but Jedi Survivor is a whole other beast. That shit's so good. Really? God, the audio keeps cutting in and out. And the fire keeps making me flinch! Got you, bitch! No! Get him before he heals! Oh, shit. Holy shit! Actually, what? That did not just drop from him. I might wear that for the rest of the game. That's crazy. I did not just get that from him. I have never gotten this helmet, actually, I don't think. What? What? That's insane. That's actually insane. You're fucking crazy. You're kidding me. An ornamental hel helm commissioned by the old Iron King. An awkwardly re repur repurposed iron ornament. And as such remains a stuffy, heavy thing. Warrior Games won the sensation being smothered in iron. Yeah, bro, I might actually rock that. I'm not gonna lie. The fact that that shit dropped for me, I might just wear that. Genuinely. The only problem, though, is it doesn't match my drip. Let me see. Is there any other drip I could rock with it? I mean, I will be going into New Game Plus 2 to go get everything, so...
that actually work? Well, no, it doesn't work with the Smelter Demon armor. It, it kind of does, but it kind of doesn't. <laughs> I don't know if it'd work for any armor, to be honest. I feel like it sticks out a little too much. Yeah, I think the, the neck of it is definitely, you know... I don't know. But to be fair, it weighs too much right now, so we'll get back to it. Um, also, we see Knight is going to be unscripted right now. They're all arguing about Fire Emblem XD. <laughs> of course. <laughs> I mean, arguing about Fire Emblem sounds like my kind of sounds like my kind of guys. Sounds like a really good team to me. Sounds like a very productive conversation. I would be doing the same. I'd be doing the same. Damn, Tiny Knight Slab and Chunks. Let's go. I could definitely use those. I think I already upgraded my mace. Tiny Knight Shard, 10 shards, and a Petrified something, and a Broadsword plus 7 for some fucking reason. What? Why am I getting random upgraded weapons? I know I do remember them existing, but like... I don't... Is there like... I wonder if there's a lore reason <laughs> for the random upgraded weapons, you know? We shall see, we shall see. Alright, um, I don't think, I think I need to get a, uh, key from somewhere still. Actually, I'm just gonna go here so I can teleport out. Oh, can I level up yet? I can, I can level up, good. Yeah, I'll probably go level up then. Well, I upgraded my endurance, I think my endurance, I should probably make my endurance to 20. And then I'll probably upgrade my attunement, but I also want to upgrade my uh, my intellect or faith a little bit, you know? Because how much does this increase my intellect by? Three. Three isn't that much, but still a decent amount. It helps my my pyromancy flame more than anything. But uh, my message was rated again, dude. Insanity. I, I might as well be cheating at this point. Literally. Uh, um, the party consists of Darcy, Lily, Augustine, and their DM will be the one bartender that got like a couple seconds of screen time. All right, all right. Hey, I respect the unique, uh, the interesting ideas, man. We can always appreciate some fun little side stories after all. Spell Quartz Ring plus three. Isn't this, yeah, yeah, the, uh, what is it? The blue smelter demons in this DLC. I always for I always forget about the Iron Passage, you know. Even though it seems like a lot of the fan base doesn't, they get really heated about it. But I, I it tends to cro it tends to escape my mind sometimes. I tend to forget about it. Like I'm just kind of playing the game and I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, it, it does exist, doesn't it? gonna fight me or are you gonna stand there? And body no! Oh the Oh my god. I should not be alive right now. I should be 30 types of dead. Yet I am still standing. Honestly we're all surprised. I can't remember if this guy does bleeding damage or not. You know what I'm sad about? You can get the big smel you can get the giant melted piece of iron, but you can't get this weapon. The giant, yeah, the giant bleeding mace. I mean, granted, maybe it'd be kind of pointless, but it looks so cool. I'm here for the cool factor, all right? Let me have it. Give it to me. 
Nah, I feel like I feel like the majority of the fan base is way happier with the silly weapon than the cool weapon, you know? I dare you to walk off the cliff. Well, it sucks that I'm playing Dark Souls 2 and not Truth or Dare now, isn't it? I'm sorry, now doesn't it? Maybe maybe if I was playing Truth or Dare, I, I, I might do that. Maybe. Maybe. But crazy, 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 I'm not. You know, I genuinely am surprised I'm dodging so well. Because I... I'm being completely honest with you, chat. After spending so long listening to people complain about ADP, um, after me not playing for um, so long, I was completely ready to just not be able to dodge anything because of my really low ADP once I got to the DLC. But no, this is so just kind of whatever, you know? Like, it, it's actively blowing my mind. Now, low ADP doesn't matter if I'm, you know, trash at the game. If I'm playing, like, absolute fucking garbage. Like I said, man, it's the Bloodborne. The Bloodborne got me playing like shit. I got used to the absolute clusterfuckery that was that game. Not to say it was bad, it's just, oh my god. <laughs> definitely, definitely more of a fast-paced mess compared to the uh, methodical combat of the game. The slow and you know, step by step rather than the panic and spam the buttons. I still can't believe I, be I actually did the run back for that game so quickly. Of course, big thanks to Izzy. So, Izzy definitely helped me, but goddamn, when I used the Beast Claws to run back through Bloodborne on New Game Plus to get the, uh, the ending for the Platinum Trophy, that shit was done so fucking quickly, and so goddamn easily, no less. Oh my god. Alright. You know one thing that I do miss, um, a miss about Elden Ring already? That I really, really like about my themed playthrough for Elden Ring? That I can't use my, I can't use any summons, right? Like, one thing I thought was really fun about giving the, uh, the the um, Elden Ring playthrough, like a lot of personality whenever I did a themed playthrough, was the summons. Like, getting the summons and then naming them. I felt like I was going on a journey with them. Like, since I can't really do that in this game, it, it does feel a little, little more off-putting, but that's okay. I'm still able to enjoy it. I'm still able to have a fun time. I don't need the summons to have fun. It's just, I, I like having them. It just, it's just like, you know, that wholesome reinforcement, you know? How much? How many souls do I need to level up? Sixteen thousand. Okay, I, will, I can only level up twice right now. Um, if I kill Blue Smelter, that doesn't really get me anything, so there's no reason for me to go that way. I'm trying to think, like, what direction in this DLC is the most worthwhile for me to go at the moment? I could go that way and then head up towards the uh, bonfire. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and go get the up bonfire for um, Sir alone. I don't think I've fought a boss yet. I've already been playing for an hour and a half, and I've not gotten to a single boss yet. I should do Gold Mask and do, like, a Paladin build? I mean, maybe. Well, isn't Gold Mask an intellect and a faith thing? Actually, wait, you guys literally told me to do that one last. You literally all agreed that I was doing that one last. That was an agreed-upon solution. That every single one of my viewers were like, yeah, we're doing that one last. Do Golden Order Golden Order last. And I was like, okay. And Izzy's like, do that one next, by the way. <laughs> um, I was probably going to do the... Um, I was either going to do the Death Mark or the, or the Poop Eater ending. You know, Mr. Evil Poop Eater. The scariest of villains. The Shit Devourer. Let me see here. I think I have that thing over here somewhere. Let's see. Uh, here we go. El Elden Ring. So, Seedbed Cursed. Intellect, intellect Faith. Frenzy. Faith Arc Dex. I've already done that one. Um, stars. Intellect Frost. Death. Int Faith and Death Spells. Gold is Int and Faith Holy. 
Seems like a lot of int and faith builds in that game. Seems like there's a lot of int and faith stuff inside of uh, Elden Ring. It's weird how they have it split like that with so many things doing that. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Give it to me. Bro's just backstab spamming. He's backstab farming. Fuck. That's. I might actually just be dead right here outright. I'm dead. No. That's right. You better be scared of this hallway. That's right. Let's go. Go for it, bitch. His hyper armor is kind of scary. I'm not going to lie. I can do that too. You really rolled into that. That was such a that was such a play. I'm actually impressed. This piece of shit. I got you, bitch. Nice. Alright. Shit. I'll see if I can get the uh, helmet or something. That'd be pretty cool. God damn it. How's it just not reaching any of them? You, you guys are so dumb. Are you actually walking into my attacks? The fuck? <laughs> All right. I mean, if that's really what you want to do, I actually got the helmet too. That's pretty fire. That's kind of what I was going for. I don't remember how good the helmet looks. It looks like the it kind of looks like the alien versus predator stuff, but you know. So what does this look like? Oh, that's spooky looking. Yeah, it doesn't work for the build, but that does look pretty fucking dope now that I actually look at it. I don't think... It's been a while since I've got that helmet as well. Looks pretty cool. Yeah, I think the Minotaur helmet kind of works better. For now, I'll rock that. For now. For now. Alright. There we go. Cool, cool, cool. I think you have to, um... What is it? I think you have to beat... The tra I get the uh, the thing that lets you travel into memories to come back and actually access this, though. It's going to be a while before I can access that. Um, let's see here. So I have that bonfire now, which is important. I want to go ahead and get any and all bonfires that I thought would like be kind of necessary. Let's see what else we got. We got five more. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and make my way down to the uh, bottom then. Well, it's been an hour and 30. I mean... Be a grim fucking reaper. Rune of death ending lets you use Gerald and Yeti since you since you can only use summons related to the theme. That is true. I can use Gerald and Yeti. And they are my homies, after all. They are very much my homies. I love them both. Dearly. Or rather, dearly. go level up my stats. My character. Let's see here. Um, health. Vitality would be good so I can wear the helmet, but that helmet's going to take a lot of vitality upgrades, so I'm not going to worry about that right now. Um, yes, yeah, stre upgrading strength past 40 for me, it's not really worth my time. Kind of pointless. I mean, it'll help with some things. Not really, though. Um, probably I'll upgrade Int Faith, Health, Endurance. I want to upgrade Health. I want to get more Health overall, but 
There's just no reason. I really just don't get a lot from that, to be honest with you. Like, I really don't. Like, it'd be nice to have health, but 40 health? Like, is that really worth upgrading two levels? I mean, I guess it's four stamina compared to 40 health, and then, you know, I can't really... I think I don't get another attunement slot till 25 attunement, so there's that. I guess I could. My int and faith are already kind of going up decently, so there's that. Um, I'll just do two into health so I can get a little bit tankier. If I'm gonna be getting smacked around so much by all the enemies, it's better if I just have a little bit of extra health, right? That and right now I have my helmet upgrading my uh my intellect, so I'll let that continue to carry me. Why stop now if I don't need to? Um, and I don't think there's anything else. I don't think there's anything else they really have that I'd want to upgrade. To be honest with you, I feel like I've already kind. I'm already kind of using exactly what I want, so that's fine. Um, and I don't have any fire seeds to use to level up my other fire weapon, so yeah, no. We're pretty much good in that regard. Um, I guess. Yeah. No, I think I think we're good. We've got, we've done about an hour and thirty. Like I said, I was going to do because I knew I wasn't going to really be able to commentate that much while I was playing because of my tiredness. But I think I went pretty far. We went and started some of the uh, the fire DLC a little bit, and oh yeah, I did kill the Looking Glass Knight. I was worried for a second that I didn't even kill a single boss, and I was like, no, I did, I did. I forgot that I was I went through the uh, Drangleic Castle at the very beginning of the stream. If you need an example of how tired I am, there you go. I literally forgot that I'd already done part of the uh, the base game. In this, in the same stream that I'm doing right now. But yeah, here I might, I might go get the bonfire at the very bottom real quick, so I can kind of, I might take on um, Raim the Fume Knight um, next stream. I think that'd be pretty fun. I actually really like um, Raim the Fume Knight um, as a, a boss fight. I think he is considered like one of the harder boss fights of this game. Wait a second, I think this is a way longer process than I remember it being. I think it is. Yeah, no, we're good. We're good. I just remembered this is not like a I walk over and finish it in one second thing. It's a I walk over and finish it in a, uh, a 20 minutes thing. Um, well, if you don't, if you want to, I could do uh, Hyrule Warriors instead if you'd like that, Izzy. If you'd find that more intriguing. Oh goodness, goodness! Because I do, I do want to get more um, Hyrule Warriors done. To be honest with you, I'm getting, I'm kind of really into it right now. After playing it the other day, I kind of, I started playing it. And I was like, God, this is fucking good. Now, nah, whatever you want. Well, of course, room whatever I want, but I, I don't know. Because I was thinking between Monster Hunter and Hyrule Warriors, but like, I don't even know if I have enough brain functioning power to do Monster Hunter right now. Is the main issue. Regardless. For now, I'll see you guys in a bit. I'm gonna I'll either switch to Hard Warriors, I'll switch to Monster Hunter World, we'll see. But yeah, for now, have a lovely night. And as always Later losers, and for you guys waiting, I'll be back online here in a bit.